Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, we're gonna talk about the express application structure. So when we build build an express application, there are certain steps we have to go through. So uh, let's go through one by one. Okay. Uh, first, when we build an Express application, the first thing is uh, because Express is the third-party module outside the node, so we have to install dependencies, right? After that, install dependencies, we have to get an instance of the Express that is called the e in e instantiation okay which is get instance of the express the third is configurations don't worry configurations like uh, suppose you want to set for the port number this is uh, uh, configuration okay and uh, if you want to set for a uh, view cache okay do do you want the um express application to cache okay when you run uh, rendering the template engine and others how about uh, oh, how about do you want to using a uh, strict str strict routing we will show you example later okay this is the uh, configurations okay how about your view engine okay Yes, uh, EJS or yes, um, mm, uh, what's the thing? Uh, a, a pack or others. Uh, normally, when we do, when we use not not, uh, when we using not to build a web applications, normally we will build a REST application. But uh, when I um, my idea is. For this playlist, my idea is first we I will still introduce the template engines, okay, which is uh, we have some UI. We do the classic rendering, which is on the server side to render the view, and uh, uh, if and after all this is done, then we will start learning the rest and also. To since we are using the REST, probably we have we need to find another way to do the authorization, right? Like a OAuth. So that's my idea. Okay, probably uh, in other um, Node.js courses, they prefer from start they just uh, uh, look at just directly build for the REST application. I feel that kind of way of uh, a course is more suitable for people who already has experience on web application development in any in some language. Okay, uh, because they have experience, we know we can catch up. But uh, I for a beginner, I feel it's better to start with uh, template engine, which is a render on the server side. Then we move to the rest. Okay. Anyway, that's my idea. Okay. So if you um, feel this is not what you need, then you just uh, find a better course. I think there are a lot of online videos are available or more suitable for you. I just go through, we'll talk about view engine and use that to build a website. Then I will move to the rest to use uh, uh, Node.js. Okay, that's my idea. So next one after configurations, we will gain the uh, most important one within Node is called the middlewares. We are talk about middlewares. Middleware is a function inside the node. Okay, we will talk about, and after that we will do routes. Okay, which is uh, for different incoming requests. It's gonna be taken care by different uh, uh, functions. Okay, to do the routing, then we will do error handling. And eventually, we will 
a boot up, which is start our application. Okay, this one you already know how to do that. This one just uh, either using Node or uh, for developer environment, you using uh, what? Use uh, you use uh, uh, Node Moon. Okay, and now I want to give a brief, a very short demo, and to show you this part, this part, and uh, this part. Okay. And for other configuration, we're gonna have a separate video for them one by one. Okay, so now let's start. I will go to this uh, demo uh, IDE. Sorry, I already created a file a package here. Now let's go inside. First, we have to initialize. Okay, because it's gonna be a big project, and uh, we want npm. To taking care of the management of our package okay so here I will init once you init it will ask some information those information you can also change a letter inside your package.json okay express demo okay version description this is our first express demo entry point if you want to change test the command date keywords everything is fine okay so now it's on the it will generate package.json right and you can you are you are free to change those things most likely we will first thing add is cut a start and using oh sorry using a node app.js Okay, so later on when we start our application, I can just using npm start. No need to use this one. Suppose you want to, for development, you can also change to be node moon. So it will automatically detect the change and restart the application for us. So next one, since we are building building a node, and node is a, is a third party dependency. So we have to install node first. Uh, sorry, sorry. Express. We are gonna use an Express framework. Okay, we have to install it first. Express dash dash save. Uh, by the way, when you install a uh, uh, module, you can also using add, then give a specific number, like a specific version. Okay. So here I don't need and save. And it's gonna download from npm.js, which is the repository, and download all the files, and you will see changes made inside the package.json, this one. And also you can see, uh, under, it automatically create node modules, and here will contain lots of files, because they are all kind of like a transi transitive dependency of node, okay? So after install node, then we can start uh, build the uh, node application. Create a new file called uh, app.js. And uh, after that, we will do this step. First, install dependency, checked, dead. Okay, now instantiation and eventually we'll boot up. Okay, so how to instantiate? First, we include uh, our express in our application using require then uh, app equals express okay create an application through this express this is called uh, what uh, instantiation okay and then what we're gonna do is using app dot listen And here you can give a port number like a 3000 3, as usual. And here you can also give a callback like a console.log uh, server is running on 3000. Oh. Okay, and that's it. And let's see if we can run successfully. What how to run? Because in our package.json we have a script here. So what we can do is just using npm start. And now you see it's running successfully. But if now I'm gonna if now I 
do like this, you will see nothing will happen because we, in our code, we don't have any statement to handle any request. We just start the application. Okay. So for other part, we will talk about one by one. Okay. So for this video, you just need to understand these three step install dependency, instantiation and boot, boot up. Okay, we just started application. And for configuration middleware routes error handling, we will have demos uh, or videos one by one. Okay, the source code is also in the description, you can download from there. That's it. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.